Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone, welcome back, it is day 44 here in season 3, I'm sorry if you were hoping for something different today from the previous two days because I'm going back to the wilderness agility course baby, I can't believe it but I'm actually fucking addicted to that place, I don't know what's happened to me, there is something wrong with my brain clearly, but we are going to be going ahead and making our way back there to finish off our training. It seems silly not to. We only need one more level and I'm online at a very good time for it again. There's like 300 people on the worlds right now, so... And I did some calculations. By my calculations, if we do 40 laps, 4-0, big 4-0, then we turn in the tickets that will be level 62, uh, including the tickets that we have now. But that is dependent on being over the 100 ticket limit, which means we want to keep hold of the tickets that we already have until we've done the next 40 laps. So try not to redeem them while I'm paying for my entry, because obviously I'm going to try and make some money while I'm there. We still don't alk anything from yesterday, but... With loot today as well, we'll have some nice big alk stacks left over at the end of it. Done with agility, we won't have to worry about it again. The only thing standing between us and having access to raids then will be five fire making levels. Four, four fire making levels and we're nearly at 52, okay. Even less and that could be done very quickly, so. Oh, we need Renars. Do we have any? No, we did not get any. Okay, so we're gonna have to go to the GE real quick. In fact, we'll just go Varrock first. May as well get the staffs in while we were doing that teleport. Cancel that offer. Renar. Whatever price they are. Nope, it's not buying. 26k. Fuck it. Oh, come on, please. Please. Ah, oh, fuck. They've gone down. They've gone up again, haven't they? Okay. Okay, that'll have to do. <sighs> Your regularly scheduled service will now resume. Go get the compost first. So yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to stay the full day at the agility course, like I have previously, to try and get the most value out of my entry fee, or if I'm just going to hit the laps I need for 62 and then leave. It'll probably depend how much time's on the clock. If there's like 10 minutes still, then I might be tempted to leave, but it also probably depends how good the loot at that third tier is, because it's still been ages since we've actually got to see it in full force. Might have to look up the herb prices again, see if there's a more cost-effective thing to use at the minute. Beautiful patch, that is what I'm talking about. Slightly longer farm run than previously, but we got a very decent haul of herbs today. We definitely broke 50. 55 in fact. We will stop at the GE real quick because I don't have any better teleports on me anyway. Crack those up, put the bird's nests up as well, and then we'll get on our way. Nothing buys at this time, that's the weird thing about playing when no one's online. It's hard to buy things except overpriced. Okay, I think that is everything we need, but we do want our black dehyde on. And a dueling ring as well, so we can get back out of there. Pretty sure that is absolutely everything that we need. Let's go. Ooh, someone is in there. 
Girls just running in laps, so. But he had a weird name, and the last time someone with a weird name was here, they were completely harmless. You remember Zuck's Peen? If Zuck's Peen is not gonna throw hands, then I don't think a wrecked Glizzy is gonna throw hands either, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm wrong, but of course, this all depends if I can actually fucking get in the course. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna tag it and pay. A wreck Glizzy's not gonna fuck with me. He's chilling, he's chilling. Yeah, he's like, say, combat level slower than me anyway. Why'd that guy just run down the ladder? Is he gonna hop away from me? Can you hop down there easily or something? Hope he's not gonna log in on another account that's poised to kill me. Please don't let me be wrong about erect Glizzy. I might poke my head downstairs just see if he's still there. Making me all nervous. He left, he must have hopped. Guess he wasn't paying or just didn't care to lose 25 laps. Guess if you weigh over 60, you don't care, you just hop. Because at that point, you're in the highest tier. I even said I mean no harm. I think that spooked him more. It was genuine. He was just running like he was trying to avoid line of sight with me and keep his distance. And I was like, oh, this guy seems KJ. Let me give him some reassurance. The reassurance made him hop. <laughs> oh. I thought something last night and I've only just remembered it now that I'm already here. I was gonna bring a brew with me, just a singular brew, because it's like, I think a brew's like 10k or something, maybe I'm wrong with that, maybe it's more. But whatever it is, it's marginal in comparison to the 150k fee that we'd be losing, plus whatever the fuck is in our looting bag. So, I was gonna just bring a brew, and that way... If we did get caught by a PKer, we'd have the extra defense bonus from the brew as well. That could mean more splashes, you know? Not getting frozen as many times means we're much more likely to escape. So yeah, if you do plan to do this, I would recommend just bringing one brew with you. Just so you have, like, it's good healing anyway, but you don't want to bring too much more additional risk than you need to. So I think just one is the good amount so that you can get that defense buff if someone does get on you, as well as healing. But I forgot, so hey ho. We're actually doing okay on the loot today so far. Okay, as risky as this feels, I'm just going to take a second to set a goal with level 62 because I want to figure out... Okay, I wanted to see the exact amount of XP I had left to... 62 rather than to the next level so if if my math's right then by the time we've got to 142 tickets we should have about 32,000 xp left to our goal and that should get us it in a single turn in with 142 tickets 142 tickets will get us 32,660 so hopefully by the time we actually reach that amount of tickets we do in fact have 32k ish to go. I might have been out by like a lap or so. I was kind of rough with it, but that was the 15th lap. We are on to tier 2 loot with the next one. Tier 1 though has not been too bad today, though, to be honest. If we have a little poke inside, we got 135k out of tier 1, which isn't terrible. Ooh, room kite shield. Now we're talking, baby. I think that'll put us in the green. It certainly does. 174k. We have paid back our entrance fee. Again, always with the caveat of <laughs> if we make it out. Though to be fair, at this point, I'm so far into the green with this agility course that I could afford to die a couple of times and we still made a decent profit here. Obviously, I don't want that to happen though. Not be ideal. Oh, another rune kite and four blighted supers. That was a very good lap indeed. Always have to recheck the bag after a lap like that. I was about to complain about failing the obstacle one, but I think that might be the first fail I've had outside of getting in, so I can't really complain. Another four blighted rune kite sealed? What? Tier 2 is paying off right now. I might just stay here the full hour, because by the time we're in the third tier, if, if tier 2 is this good today, and tier 1 wasn't bad, 
Tier 3 is gonna tickle my balls with gold dust. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. I, I don't even know what that means. I mean, I'm kind of sorry I said it, but I'm, I'm kind of lucky, like, happy I said it, because no one's ever said that before, so... It's always nice to be the first, you know? Oh, another fail. Now I'm completed. At least I haven't fucked up a lap so far, either. I might start dropping wines for a restore again. If my invent just fills up with good food, that's fine too. Oh my gosh! I need to drop them if I keep having to drink like this. Oh, I saw an aim then. Shit. That was for just like a split second. He went straight back out. That's got me skittish. I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh. Did I see an aim or did I imagine that? I'm sure I saw red then. I'm gonna be checking that footage when I edit. Hey, we got a restore. Okay, now I feel a bit safer about keeping preserve on. Okay, that was the last lap of tier two. We'll be on tier three loot from here on. I'll check the bag just in a moment. 485k it's saying at the minute. I think it says more on the inside. Thought it was the other way around usually. What do we get on our first tier three? It's very, very poor. Very poor. I mean, you just get more food and stuff as a default, but still being able to get myth plate legs as the alcohol drop is a bit lame. We are now approaching the number of tickets that we need to finish our agility training. The question is, I'm going to be done in about five minutes, I reckon. Do I stay for the extra 15 minutes and finish off things here or do I go and do some other stuff with the time now I know I'll find a use for the money we've I think got enough for our, the setup we want already I think we've about got enough now a mass between miscellaneous and cash and items that we already have but any other further money is just going to provide more upgrades there's upgrades that range from one mil well maybe like two mil is the cheapest upgrade that we could reasonably make use of and that'd be a dragon crossbow but then you know you can go up to like if we get an extra 12 mil we could get a fang that'd increase our efficiency by a ridiculous amount but obviously that's a lot of money you get my point anyway there's always gear that we'll be able to upgrade with with an extra couple mil. So do I stay or do I go? That is the question. Because we're almost done. What else would I do if I left? These are some nice drops coming through though. Not every time, but a lot of the time. I would probably, I think we've got a medium clue. I don't think we have a hard clue at the minute. So I'd do the clue. I'd go to miscellaneous because I got a notification about it when I logged in. Just saying I should bring my approval up, which is fine. Like, I'd go claim it as well and process the stuff on the GE, but I'm still not going to take that much time up. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it. I haven't checked this bag since I broke past 30 laps. So when I get to 40, I'll check the bag again then, and we'll see how much it goes up, and that'll tell me how much it's worth to do 10 laps here, and if I think it's worth it to stay for longer. That makes perfect sense. Because if this like doubles in value for 10 laps, then I'm gonna have to just stay at uh, I don't think it'll be that excessive, but it might not be far. I'm just excited to actually be in this tier for once, because each other time we've been cut off like just after getting here and doing a few laps. Okay, I think we would actually need just one more lap anyway, so that's fine. I will check it after claiming here. Oh, we, we'd probably actually be a bang on there. But I'm just going to start running the next lap and then check in case. Because I'm feeling like I'm going to stay at least a little bit longer. 485, about 300k we made in 10 laps. Like average 30k a lap. Feels like it's worth staying. This could be our biggest bag so far. At least a little longer. I might see if I can get the bag up to a mil and then dip. Because I can't think of anything else good to do with the time anyway other than... A clue, birdhouses, and check in on miscellaneous, and that's not going to take 15 whole minutes. <laughs> and there's 61 agility. Uh, I think I'm going to tag this, redeem, and then that guy just hopped anyway. Okay, I'm going to leave now. That scared me enough. That scared me enough. 884k, you'll do. 
We've got 62 agility and 15 minutes left on the clock. I guess we've got a lot of shit to alk, so that's something I can do. Though I'll have to be efficient and not just sit alking. But running agility doesn't really make much sense. I don't really want to try going for a game of Winter Todd at this point. Oh my gosh, I forgot the knife. No way, I forgot my knife. What the fuck am I gonna do? Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is actually really bad. Cause I can't get through that one either. This is, this is bad. I don't know how this looks visually for you guys, but it's pretty fucking bad for me. I can't get to my logout button, I'm gonna move that. My absolute savior, this champion right here. Let me through, oh. What a G. What an absolute G. Thanks to that random guy for logging in and saving my life there, because I'm an absolute idiot. I don't know if that counts as cheating. I don't think it does. I think there's a vast amount of people that could log in with a second account to cut a web. I didn't give myself any items or anything. All I did was cut that web. Okay, Ferox. Right, let me reorientate my head. That threw me off so bad, I can't believe I forgot the knife. I don't know what else I would have done other than what I just did. Okay. Look at that. 1.7 mil in that tab. Let's have a look at this. What's the step? Barb outpost with some shit. Right, what else do we have here? We got this, this, this. Quite a lot. Quite a lot to alk. Okay, we need to wear these garsals to the GE. Get a maple short bow and put these up for sale. Lovely stuff. I'm not gonna need them darts, am I? I've got plenty. Plenty to alk before we worry about the darts. Have I done bar crawl? Yeah, I've got a god book. What am I about? Okay, what's the step? Wizard's Tower. Just search the drawers. I don't have a cape. I think GE is my quickest teleport to a bank on this account. Oh, uh, well, I guess dueling ring to castle walls would be, but... Uh, we probably need a spade as well. Might be preferable. May as well use the fairy ring here. Oh, we have to kill a wizard? I wasn't prepared for murder. Good fight. Arceus Mine. Okay, that's not too bad. I just realised I forgot to bring stamina though, so we will have to go to Ferox after this step for a reset. Oh, this is a run as well, isn't it? I forgot. Oh, at least we got plenty to alk. We should have just about enough energy. We might be running out as we get there. Never mind, we had way too few energy. Way too few energy, that doesn't make sense. Y'all know what I mean though. Did I go the wrong way? Are you kidding me? Did I actually go the wrong way? Can I get in that way? I don't know if I can get in that way. I can't go over there, can I? Oh my gosh, I fucked this. It's fine, just keep alking. You got time to play with, you're chilling, it's the end of the day, you've had some solid gains, you don't need to worry. Let's grab a stam. Let's try that again. What you got for me, Niles? A spirit? 80 coins, wow! Thanks so much for wasting my time with that pop-up. I always think it's so quick I may as well do it and then it's just absolute garbage. May as well have just told me to go fuck myself. It's like leaving a 50... a 50p tip at a restaurant. Or a 50 cent tip if you're American. That would really be an insult in America. Here people can actually do that and it's just not seen as polite but it's not socially unacceptable. But that's because we actually pay our staff here rather than just have them rely on tips for their earnings. I had to get a wage no matter what. Oh, casket, big ranger boots. Not the big ranger boots, a very mediocre casket. Oh well. Right, let's go do a birdhouse run and if we've got any time left we'll pop over to miscellanea, cut a couple trees. And there we are, we're up to 100% on miscellanea. Some guy just teleported in here from the wheel day. I don't like how he's looking at me. I'm nervous because I've been at the agility course all day. Almost got the alkin done. Just got some rune meds left. We'll just get our claiming by the looks of things. Check. I'm going to put another 300k in. Let's collect. Nice one. We'll stick that on the GE tomorrow.
we are back at Ferox for the end of our day. Well, folks, agility's done. The only requirement remaining for Beneath Curse... Oh, no, we need to get a crafting level as well, but we need to get 4,700 XP. That's nothing. The only thing we really need to do... We could get these requirements done tomorrow, and I may do it. I may do it tomorrow, because then we could do Beneath Curse Sands. We're at the entrance. All we need then is a few more levels. I think I said, like, I'm happy to give it a go once I get to 70 stats on entry level. So, we'd not be far at all then away from attempting TOA entry mode. And like I say, we've got the cash already. We got 2.4 mil just there, and the 7.5 in miscellaneous fully decent amount of herbs here to sell plus we'll have mahogany's too we've got all our gear still together so that's looking good generally things are really really positive here at the moment just six renar seeds in the bank but that's enough for tomorrow yeah we had some money there as well from Shit, we still got some quite a lot in Renar and Blighted Supers to collect from the GE and an extra 230k in Rune Med Helms there. And it, XP today is probably mainly just agility, I imagine. Yeah, 57k gained from the tickets and the laps that we did, which was about 42, 43 maybe today. I don't know how many I actually ended up with in the end. We got a medium clue done, we got some standard hunter and farmer both sides of the bird houses got done 6k magic xp to bring us a little closer towards that level 70 for ice burst and yeah that's about it really the little, little bits are marginal so we won't bother worrying about those did i miss some steel plate bodies from my alkin is that another thing that we were getting it's actually kind of hard to keep track of what you get at that course because there's no like loot tracker for it. Yep, things are going well. I'm excited to continue. It's good to be done with agility now, as much as I have actually enjoyed myself at the Wilderness Agility course. Knowing that it is done and we don't have to go back, it's one more grind checked off the list. We got a few more melee levels to gain, a Neath Curse Sands to do after we get that fire making and crafting done. One more magic level, and then we are ready to take on TOA for the first time on this series. I'm super excited. It's coming quicker than I actually thought it was now. Although, granted, this is just going to be entry-level mode and there's nothing to say that I'm successful. Hopefully I am, though. You'll have to subscribe and wait and find out with the rest of us. Leave us a fat comment with a GZ for the agility level. 62 agility. It's a huge milestone on the account. You know it is and you want to celebrate it with me. And... Hit the like button if you haven't already, because you definitely enjoyed the video, otherwise you wouldn't still be here listening to me. Other than that, look after yourself, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.